Jello, period. Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 175, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. Hi, Anton. Hi, Marwa. Episode 175. I didn't even uh, realize it until I read it as I was saying it, but that's a, that's a big number. That's a uh, big number, right? yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, today we actually have our five-minute tip. Um, I have a Wisdom of the Week. week and I have a redux on user preferences um, from a couple of weeks ago with Hayden. Um, everything I said was valid in that, but I've, I've got another little thing to add to it. Um, so we better jump right in, Marwa. I'm going to uh, share my screen. I'll show you the issue that I'm having, and hopefully you can, uh, you can help me out. Thanks, Rich, for the uh, shout out. Um, Okay, so I have just uh, what is a stand. I'm going to go ahead and click off the timer. We're not going to cheat at all on this one. Okay, I'm going to click off the timer. I have a, just a standard interactive report and um, and page. Uh, the page I've added some items to. Everything at the bottom, test prior, all these are things that I added to it, but I just added items to it. Um, and the problem is this. Uh, this active has a value of y, um, and I've got a page process uh, on this page up at the top here um, that is I set p18 test to be the value of p18 active yn so so this item should be getting the same value of, as this item because of this of this before header process um, but when I run it I'm I'm not getting that but I, I'm going to show one more thing that's really weird if I if I um uh, my mouse is not working well, but if I, I have this right here, if I uncomment this region, all that does is it shows me the value of P18 active YN using that syntax. This one uses the bind variable syntax. So when I run it like this, I know that is set, right? Um, I can see it's Y and it's Y with the bind variable. And so I, I know that this bind variable must be set, right? Yes. It must be set, but how are you setting the value of the active item to y? How are you doing that? Um, I'm using this default value right here of p18 active yn uh, right here. It's set default to, to y. Oh, I see. It's because of the order of operations that are happening. Processes happen before the default operations on the items. So when Opera when the process is being executed, the page item is still empty. The active page item oh, is still but, empty. But I have process session persistent. Shouldn't it, when I refresh this page, shouldn't it bring that back back up because it's persisted? It should, but it does not. Using the default attribute does not persist the values in the session, fortunately. If you do it in any other way, like computations, it would it will persist the value in the session. Oh, look but at that. Default does it's not. Your, ah, so this so this default doesn't okay. All right. So well, okay. What if I were to, to use this instead up here and set this to a static value instead this way? Uh, even the source the source option does not always work. Sometimes it does persist in the session and sometimes it does not. Which is oh, yeah, you know, I've yeah, I've noticed that too. If I use this like this, then it definitely does. Ah, but if I do something like this, it, so it's just it's just kind of goofy whether or not it stores it in succession state. Okay, going back to this though, I've got this. I want I want this to work though. How how can I do this so that I get this to work? You can set the value either inside the process itself set the value of the active item first and then pass it to the test item you can use a computation oh so like if i do so you're saying if i do a computation uh and i set this item uh active yn to y uh of course i only want to do that if it's null so i'd have to say item is null uh active yn so that 
becomes the equivalent, and then I, and then I can get rid of this one altogether. Uh, the the um, the source. setting, the default, the source. The default. Okay, so now if I do this, everything should work. It should. Oh, except I goofed something up. What did I do? The um, expression or the type of the computation. Ah. <laughs> Static value. Okay, thank you. You you even knew it. You didn't tell me I'd done it wrong. You knew it. I, you, uh, I knew it from the error text, not, uh, oh, not okay. <laughs> there's the select tool. Okay. Word. So here we go. So that is the solution. The solution is that and I think the solution is to be really careful with these default value, this default value, because like you said, it happens. But what's really, really weird to me is that it gets set, it gets set soon enough for it to show up here but not for it to be set in the, the computation. And in fact, it has to be, if you move things around here, these happen in a particular order as well. So all of the session state of items from those defaults get happen before any regions render, but they, it happens after the processes. All kind of goofy, but um, that's, I guess, the answer. That's well, it. I have seen this problem creep up many, many, many times when using that default value, um, expecting it to be in session state, and especially this whole per, se per session persistent. We'll do an episode on this storage right here. Um, this has changed over the years, how things happen. We'll definitely do an upcoming episode on that. My Redux is related to that, though. So I'm going to jump right into my Redux. Um, this is my user preferences redux from a few weeks ago with Hayden. Um, I mentioned that, and I'm going to use this test too, um, I mentioned that if you want to use a user preference to set an item, you might want to consider, so I'm going to come down here, I'm going to say my source is uh, user preference. You might want to do something like a um, eight, uh, a one seven six three one, whatever it might be, um, uh, underscore P18 underscore test two, just to make sure that you don't use this preference anywhere else. Um, and then, of course, whenever you change the value of this, you need to set the preference. So you would do this, you, you'd have this here, and then in the processing, you would also, when the, when the page processes, you would actually have a set preference prop, prop, property here, um, instead of execute code, it would be set preference, um, user preferences, etc. You would do all of those things. And all that is true. That's all true. But there's an easier way. The easier way than doing all of that is if you really want this, this to apply just to this item, is to use instead persistence like this. Um, you, instead of doing storage per memory or per session, do per user. If you do that, it's just like setting a user preference and calling it from the user preference and all of those things. So right here, wow. if I do this, if I have this here, I already have this on my page. So I'm going to show it to you. Um, at this point, no changes. So this is here. You can see this says indigo. If I change this to um, red and I'll just submit it in because it actually does have to get submitted somehow. It's now, uh, uh, well, yeah, it's now red, so that's that's my my preference, um, or not preference. That's my value. But if I if I log back in, one two three four, I log in as the same user because this is set per user, and then I go back over here to create. It will be red, um, uh, except that it didn't happen. Oh, you know what? I think it probably I um, I probably didn't uh, I didn't apply it. Let's see here apply changes, or there's one other possibility. Um, I'll, I'll show you what the other possibility is. I think, okay, I'll, I'll log in again. We'll, we'll see if what I said is true. It should be, and now my keyboard's not working. All right, there we go. Um, now, if I come here, it should be red. Uh, yes, it is red. It's I'll show red. you. I'll show you why it doesn't have indigo. I, why I think maybe it, the issue didn't didn't work before. It also is true 
that per user is per user per tenant. If I change the tenant ID to one, two, three, four and submit it, I may have had this, the tenant ID set. Um, in any case, uh, now when I go to that page, it will be based upon this. Ah, so you can see it is different. So uh, it does the same thing. It's, it's based upon tenant ID, just like the other one. As you keep it up to date, it will keep up to date across tenants. So it's per user per tenant, really. So this is really, um, this value where it says per user, it's really per user per tenant. Um, but yeah, not many people know about that. Again, that's no. my, that's my flex. No. Um, yes, and this is a bonus tip. Yeah, right, right. Definitely. So, um, so, so that's my redux on user preferences. If you want to set a, a preference for an item, you don't have to do all that work. You can just do per user on the, on the storage and it works just like doing all that. So that's our, our bonus. Marwa, I have a wisdom of the week. Um, I recently read an article in the New York Times. It was eight things to make you happy that you can do to make you happier. And some of them really, um, really stand out to me as being things that I, that, that work for me. Um, and so, uh, over the next few weeks, I'm going to give wisdom of the week that, um, that are based upon this New York times article. And one of the things in the article was, um, to spread new, uh, spread good gossip. Everybody likes to gossip. Yes. Everybody likes to gossip, right? You come home from work, you're going to tell your spouse what happened that day, you, you know, but if you're going to gossip, gossip about the good stuff. Positive stuff. The positive stuff, right? If you're going to tell a little story and I have found like just that little thing, you come home and you start talking about the good things instead of the bad things, or you tell what happened at work or what happened with your friends. and. And if you talk about the good things, it's just, it makes you just a little bit happier. Yes. And even and if sure those things are not, it is, it is. I totally agree. And even if those little things and news are not about me or us mm -hmm. as a couple or a family, uh -huh. it still brings joys and little moments of happiness, like talking about positive things. Right. Yeah. No, I, I know. I know enough about you, Marwa, that this is not a piece of advice that I have to give you because I'm sure that you ask if it's always about the good stuff. But there are other people, myself included, at times in my life that I've I've talked about the negative stuff, but just so much that just brings a little joy to your world. Anyway, there you have it. That's my wisdom of the week. I'll hit you up with some other uh, happiness ideas from this New York Times article in the weeks to come. Uh, uh, beyond that, uh, do all the things you're supposed to do. If you like the show, like the show. What are the things other people do, Marwa? Subscribe. Right, send, right. Send, send a your letter, mom to, your mom. letter to your mom about the show. Right, all those things. Perfect. Thanks very much. Thank you. Not next week. Sorry, I want to jump in. Oh, if, if you want a tip next week, I'm not available. You'll have to put in the comments that you want Marwa to go ahead and do the tip without me. So. <laughs> See if you can convince her to do a tip without me next week. <laughs> Bye for real now. Bye.